All right, hey everyone, this is Sean Kelly. I'm Jared Sandler. You can't really see me, but you can see Sean. We're just gonna stare at his beard right now. Thank you. So we're gonna do an extension of Just Hanging. Uh, we're gonna start though by filling out Sean's bracket. Sean is a huge college basketball fan. Mm -hmm. We have already uncovered this. So instead of having him do every single game, which would take forever and you probably don't care as much, we're gonna start from the Sweet 16. So let's start in the East region. Sean's already accidentally <laughs> filled out the winner of Duke St. Louis. You don't you don't like the ghost of Rick Majerus upsetting Mike Krzyzewski? I do not. I do not. And I like the Billikens to make a little run because uh, I'm not sold on Vatek in Mississippi State. So, um, yeah, 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 Duke, easy pick, safe pick, Zion. All right. Yeah. Belmont won their play-in game uh, against uh, I had, Temple. Which it doesn't count, but I did go ahead and write that in because I knew they would. And you've got Belmont – advancing past the LSU Yale winner to face Michigan State. Who do you have winning this matchup? I'm going to go Michigan State. I love Belmont, but I think their Cinderella story runs out in the Sweet 16. Michigan State, really good team. Could have made a case that they deserved a, a number one seed, winning the Big Ten regular season and postseason, and having the most quadrant one wins of any team. Problem is, those Louisville Cardinals kicked their butt early in the year, so that kept them out. And, and Sean, <laughs> just in case you're wondering, huge Louisville fan. And just in case you're wondering, my backup bracket has Louisville. <laughs> All the way, all, so. yeah. All right. If they do, I'll probably win that. So now we've got a big, this is like a classic blue blood matchup, oh, yeah. Duke-Michigan State for a chance to go to the Final Four. Yeah, I'm going Duke. You can't go against Zion right now. It's really tough, too. It's I hate Duke. Duke. You hate yeah, Duke. I don't, but, I don't want to do it. I yeah. hate to do it, but they're good. All right, so let's go to the West. We've got Gonzaga, a team that's beat, beaten Duke already this year versus the very long and athletic Florida State Seminoles. You know, I like, uh, I honestly, I would prefer to have Marquette come out here, but I think Marquette might even get beat by Murray State. So I went with the safer picks, and I'm also going to go with the Zags of Washington State. I think right? they're out there somewhere. <laughs> they're, yeah, they're, yeah, there you go. Uh, I also, by the way, for those who care, I think Murray State beat beats Marquette as well. I, I like it. I mean, yeah. Best player, one of the best players in the country. Yeah. All right. Now you've got, you've already, you got so Sorry. excited about Chris so Beard and Texas yes. Tech. You have Texas Tech beating Michigan. Texas Tech, very good defensively. Yep. Michigan, uh, just a really good all around team. Why do you have Texas Tech? You know, I don't feel like they're really going to get tested very much uh, going, going through there. So, um, you know, I think they're obvious to get there, but I, I don't know. I, I'm not sold on Michigan, a team that loses three times to their rival in one year. Just doesn't uh, doesn't scream elite eight to me. So all right, go with the defensive team. Yeah, Gonzaga, Texas Tech to come out of the West. He's going with the Zags. Let's go ones, <laughs> one seeds. The Zags, <laughs> the Zags. Yeah, exactly. Bad there you go. Rui Hachimura, Brandon Clark, really good yeah. team. Yeah. Uh, so we've got so far two ones right. in the final four. Let's go to the South. UVA versus Wisconsin. UVA too good defensively. Okay. Um, don't love them. Also, don't love the South bracket, though. I, I just don't. I don't see a lot of teams in there that are going to give them a run. They've got the easiest easiest road, I think. I I wonder. You know, it, all the different bracket websites put together all the numbers of who picks who, and whatnot. I wonder what the percentage increase of six teams winning this year will be now that we it's have. It's got to go way up because it's like it was that thing that just was never going to happen, and now that the, it's the spell's been broken, yeah, th there will be somebody. I, It'd be tough to say one in this one. I don't know. But but you never know. <laughs> All right, so we got Villanova and Tennessee. Gotta Going go with Tennessee. Go All right. Balls. Now you learn that, you know, in Texas, Tennessee is just Tennessee. They're not UT. Right. But they are coached by Rick Barnes, who used to be at UT. So, so like a little if bit... I accidentally said it, it's not like the end of the world because there is some confusion. Yeah, it's like, well, it's State Rick Barnes. Lines, I'm used to Rick him Barnes, being. Barnes, he's yeah. an orange still. Yeah. 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 It's okay. All right, so Tennessee uh, at one point was the top-ranked team in the country. UVA at one point, top-ranked team in the country. They're facing off to go to the Final Four. Who do you have winning that one? Uh, I'm going to go with the uh, non-UT Tennessee. All right. Vols to knock off UVA. Is it you don't believe in UVA's ability to score? Yeah, I just think the problem is – and the reason, I, the reason I got this is I, I want to go safe with a couple UVA wins just because they're good, but – I don't feel like this is this won't hurt me if UVA gets bumped early, because I don't have them going too far anyway. Right. So strategically, I think Tennessee yeah. could maybe be playing someone different here, and I like the senior leadership at Tennessee. I like the ability to, uh, you know, Tennessee looks flat sometimes, but they also got a bunch of old seniors. 
Yeah. So now they've got something to really play for. All right. Um, now, like and that's an interesting matchup because Tennessee, not great defensively, <laughs> but outstanding offensively. UVA, inconsistent offensively, but obviously yeah. pack line defense, great defensively. Yep. All right. Uh, let's go to the Midwest. You have UNC taking on Auburn for a chance to go to the Elite Eight. I got UNC going. They're just so fun offensively. They're, They're such a good in passing score, team. You know, yeah. I mean, I know Duke kind of came back with the Zion factor, and that was a, a, a big rivalry game, but I just don't see many teams being able to score with UNC. Even if they don't play good defensively, even if they don't hit all their shots, they just get so many attempts. Um, yeah, it's hard not to go for UNC. All right, you got Houston taking on Kentucky, and you spell Kentucky. You don't, you're not a Kentucky fan. You yeah, have Kentucky, have Kentucky. Uh, spelled with a K, Cats spelled with a K. I'm not only going to. Um, Pick Houston. I'm going to scratch out Good. the cat, the cat, as you should, and go with Houston. Now it's interesting because uh, just quick pause before we get to this UNC Houston matchup. Right over here, we've got Louisville, and you don't have them there. I'm curious, do you have them losing to Minnesota, or do you have them losing to Michigan oh, State? Oh wow, you went back to I've got the Louisville Michigan State matchup, okay. which we have already beat them once. I say we because I'm a big fan. Yeah. Um, you just don't see it happening again. Not when money's on the line. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be smart. I, I, I respect my heart, that. I see it happening. I respect that. that. That that Louisville team is very capable. We you know we blew out North Carolina at home. We had Duke beat. We beat Michigan State. We beat Florida. We beat a lot of good teams, but um, we have a tendency to struggle late in games. So All right. I don't like that in the tourney. All right, back to the Midwest region. UNC Houston. I imagine UNC would be significant favorites in this yeah, one. I'm going with UNC right here. Okay, so uh, in your final four, you got three ones and a two. Yeah, it's really it's really exciting. You know now, what though? But you know what? I wish we could go through the early ones because I am a big. Um, you have a lot of early I'm upsets. I'm a big early upset guy to try to find those extra points here and there, but you can really hurt yourself from the beginning if you don't go chalk. You know, and I'm not saying you have to go all one seats, but uh, I, th I think that. There's four or five teams in this bracket that are just hands down better. And if you go against them, you're just asking to have your bracket shredded up after the second round. So I haven't done my final bracket yet, but <laughs> I did a, an initial draft and I had four, like un, unknowingly had four ones in my final four. And I don't like that. I'll change it up at some point. Uh, I likely won't have UVA in there and I've got my doubts on, on UNC. But uh, I do think that this is a, I was reading an article and, and I kind of agree with this. This might be more of a chalkier than than I agree. like you last know, there year. Was, there was a year several years ago where it finally was all one seed. Yeah, it, this kind of reminds me of that year. The other thing too is I, I always like to think who's my final four going to be before the bracket comes out. Right. Yeah. And then based on the you know how it's done. So uh, I think I originally had Duke, Tennessee, UNC. Duke. I like Duke. I like UNC. I like Tennessee, and I like Michigan State as my final four. Right. Obviously, when the bracket came out and I saw they were in the same, I wasn't going to be able to have both of them. But makes sense. Um, you know, I would have liked if Michigan State maybe was the two down here, so I'd have a two ones and two twos, but it didn't work out that way. All right, so, so let's go to Final Four matchup, Duke-Gonzaga, a rematch of an early season matchup in which Gonzaga uh, handed Duke Duke's first loss. Yeah, that's not going to happen again. I Duke. guess, you know, when you have six McDonald's so, All-Americans yeah. and three top five picks, you... So, uh, uh, my philosophy when you get to the Final Four is just kind of have fun with it because who knows what's going to happen, right? You got all the good teams. They've made it this far. They're all great stories. Um, they all have superstars. So, do you see where I'm going with this for the final? I think it's I know. It's never happened. It's never happened. It's for a happen. fourth time... And it's going to happen. So, I don't disagree <laughs> with this matchup. Uh, Duke-UNC, this would be amazing. Uh, unfortunately, the first two matchups... One was the major letdown, which mm -hmm. Zion got hurt. The yeah. second one, UNC just kind of controlled. Yeah. But the the ACC tournament matchup one of was the best an, college basketball games of the year. Uh, it was awesome. It would and, be. And if you don't think that, and, and I hate college basketball referees. I think they're the worst. I think they're really bad at their jobs, and I think they play favoritism based on what the NCAA tells them to do. And I'm saying they want this game. They want. All right. <laughs> so part the, of that was made up. This is this is interesting because with Duke, you've got a school that's going to uh, be featured atop the, the NBA draft. With UNC, they've got Nasir Little, who a lot of people thought would be a top five pick, but just for whatever reason has not been a fit. He still might be right. uh, because of the potential and whatnot, but he's.